guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be telling you all some tips and tricks for keeping a live planted tank. Real quick, I'd just like to say a disclaimer, I am in no way, shape, or form a professional at this. I'm having troubles with some of my plants, like my jungle valve has been dying. Um, but this was really, really, really requested, so I just want to help you all up and doing, do this video. And also, if you disagree with me, feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments nicely. Let's just get on with this video. So, the first tip I have is that LED growth lights, I found, seem to work the best. And these could be in tanks, like, lights that go inside of the tank or can sit on the top. I don't know about you guys, but I've just found that those work the best. So, if you are looking for an easy aquarium plant light, um, look into LED, LED um, growth lights. <laughs> The next tip is that um, low light plants don't require fertilizers, but if you were to add, um, if you were to add fertilizers, I recommend growth tablets and liquid fertilizers. I recommend brands like Flourish. Um, I use Flourish XL for my Jungle Val, Anarchist, and um, Java Fern, and I don't have it with me right now because I actually just used my last bit of it but I do really recommend Flourish. There is other like gravel su supplements and powders, but um, if you were to add fertilizers, I recommend liquids and tablets. The next thing to remember is that algae means that you have a good system in your tank, so um, if you are getting a bunch of algae and you do have um, live plants in your tank, it's a good thing, don't worry. I get tons of algae in this tank. As you can see, there's some on the back, and then there's also some on the decorations and the leaves and everything, but it's not a bad thing. It just means that your plants are thriving. All you need to do is really scrub it off throughout the week. I usually scrub the algae off this tank three times a week. I scrub it off the heater and the filter, and then the big de decoration in the middle. The next tip is to get a um, low current filter, or I guess a, so a soft current filter because um, filters with really soft, really hard currents will kind of tear apart your plant's leaves and kind of rip them out of their places and um, shred, the, like, shred the leaves. So um, look into a filter with a soft current. As you can see, I have some dwarf hair grass and a different kind of flutter plant, I'm not sure what it's called, um, inside of the filter right there. And they, my filter does have a hard current, um, not hard enough to pull the larger plants out, but for the floaters to kind of drift around a lot and to get stuck in the filter. And that's not only a bad thing for the plants, it's also a bad thing for the filter because then the plants will get sucked up in the filter and it will run the motor out um, to then break your filter. And last but not least, um, you want changes in the, in the water parameters and the temperatures of the water can cause melting of the leaves on your plants. Um, so say you maybe sent someone some plants and it the plant started to almost die or the leaves started to dissolve. That's just because of the difference in water parameters and temperatures. Um, but it takes the plants a few days to kind of adjust to the new um, the new water. So don't worry, it's natural. So say maybe you get a, pet, a plant from the pet store and it starts to die for the first few days and then it comes back, that is just because the temperatures and the parameters of that water um, is different from yours. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please tell me in the comments and also leave a like. If you have any video requests, please let me know and I might do a few of them. Um, but yeah, please comment, like, and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye guys!